Okay, hello. <laughs> so, it's a sunny afternoon of the 24th of August 2013. I am a young urbanist with one year of PhD research under my belt. I arrived in Split, Croatia. Okay. And uh, what we are supposed to tackle the, 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 the area of urban interaction design. Is this the venue? I ask. When I see this gloomy complex arriving in front of me, evoking the image of uh, Warsaw, Poland, where I grew up. So uh, I would like to take you on a journey uh, from that day into the future and back, and introduce a little bit of my research and practice through that. Uh, in my PhD, I look at uh, what poetic wayfinding practices may engage people in exploratory walking in changing urban landscapes. So, uh, yeah, my approach is um, very much influenced by Nicotuan's uh, approach. Our space and place the environmental equivalence of the human need for adventure and safety, openness and definition. So, uh, this will be a story of the space and the place, of the least favourite and the favourite. Well, so I look at this area, uh, designed by Ramek Revich in 1978, uh, as the um, um, cultural centre in former Yugoslavia, um, and I'm told that the construction work stopped in 1984 and only in 2004 uh, two local architects from Platform 981 uh, took on a challenge to turn it into a Dom Mladi, so youth centre. Uh, and that was supposed to remain in the state of flux, uh, homage to the unfinished, to the open and to the creative. Uh, so in the discourse of uh, belonging and exploration, uh, Niels Walters, Matt Carroll and myself, newcomers to the space, um, make an attempt to ask a question uh, by creating a backspace, um, a critical design proposal, a future scenario that relates to the uh, topic of feeling at homeness in a space. So the year is 2060. Space, uh, the smart city of split. Technology enables citizens to intentionally disrupt or glitch the urban landscape, thereby reclaiming the city as a site for, her, for human interaction and expression. Backspace, worn as a backpack, a universal symbol of the wanderer and dreamer, is a product aimed at urban data explorers. <coughs> they are inspired by, by an ideal to humanize data and, and to inject emotions into the smart city. Their primary motivation is to reveal, celebrate and preserve the experiences that can be found at the scenes of the city. Spaces that may be uncertain, contested or confused, yet holding an interesting quality through their rich history. Is this one? Like this in a place like this should 
definitely be converted into a space for culture. I like how the roughness of this building is counterweighted by the delicacy of the vents. You should really go and check out the small playground right around the corner. It's lovely. I lie down and travel in the rhythm of concrete blocks through the frame of the metal roofs all the way to the sky. I remember this place from when I was a kid. Mom would take us to the basketball court and we would play for many hours, singing songs, telling stories. This place has changed so much. Baskets, listen to this. But I think this is exactly what I would urbanism, I would like to urbanism be, to be. <laughs> I would like it to be about constant uh, challenge and constant change. Uh, so yeah, for a reason my research is titled Discovering Bugs.com. <laughs> Thank you.